Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Review 3000. Today we've got the Kershaw Groove. Um, it is an excellent example of a, a good quality knife you can get for less than 20 bucks. This comes in about 18 bucks, um, which is an awesome deal. So for 18 bucks you get a, a three and a half inch Tonto blade. Uh, it is eight CR13 MOV. Um, you get a liner lock there, you got full liners, um, a, let's see, what is this, a GFN handle, so glass filled nylon handle, uh, it's got a nice texture to it, have some, some grooves in there, um, a lot of grooves, I guess that's why they call it the groove, so you got some back here, some there, and then on the on the scales there um, it does come with the the speed safe so it is very flippy uh, very flickable um, just just rockets out of there doesn't take a whole lot um, on that flipper tab to get it open um, this particular one is black on black which I think think is the only version available but that's right up my alley I like that um, got some really deep choils there finger grooves um, so it is it's very tactical in that sense is if you've got a grip on there it's not going anywhere um, between the flipper tab the choils the um, texturing on there the grooves very secure in your hand um, I don't feel a whole lot of, of hot spots there might be a little bit if you did use it for a while on the back here that kind of sticks up a little bit and, and kind of works in there um, but if, if just a regular EDC you're not doing you know work for you know more than a couple of minutes uh, this this will be just fine um, fit and finish is okay you know it's it's an $18 knife there's there's spots where it's a little off things don't quite line up um, straight but I don't I don't think any of it will affect the function of it um, it's just kind of a you get nitpicky there's you know a little bit of a uh, things not fitting quite right um, the liner lock is a little hard to get to you gotta kind of push it um, or dig your thumb in there a little bit it's a little uncomfortable to, to, un, to unlock it if you had gloves on I think that'd be really hard <laughs> Um, if you got cold weather gloves that have some padding to them, it might be difficult to, to get in there and do that. They did provide some jimping on there to help, but it is very inset there, as you can see. Um, it's not much sticking out at all. Um, they've got a nice hollow grind on here, so it should be pretty slicey. Um, and easy to the well I say it'll be easy to uh, sharpen because of the 8CR but with that recurve on there it's going to make it a little harder to sharpen um, it's going to take a little bit of an extra time since it's not flat or or have a belly um, since it's uh, the, the curve goes in yeah those aren't the funnest thing to sharpen but um, it's doable it's not a huge deal it's gonna add a few minutes to to your sharpening sessions um, so yeah yeah got some nice barrel spacers in there looks good all black on black everything um, the model if you're looking it up that way is the 170 or 1731T on Blade HQ it has an X at the end 1731TX um, 
I'm not sure what that means, but you should be able to find it if you if you're looking for just put in Kershaw Groove and I'll leave a link below if you have any questions um, or want to look it up for yourself. But yeah, uh, 18 bucks if you're looking for you know if you can't afford a, a, something uh, more expensive or if you want something for your glove box, tackle box, um, just kind of a beater knife. This, I mean. You know, this is tactical enough if you know if you want it for self-defense I think it'd be good for that um, very pointy edge uh, but still strong and you've got a decent amount of, of material out out till the to the end there um, and then with that hollow grind it'll be nice and strong too so um, yeah that's kind of my take on that. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, y'all have a good day. Thanks.